Screenwriters and directors go to great lengths to create great films that moviegoers will enjoy for years to come. Along with great actors and amazing storylines, they sometimes sneak in surprise celebrity cameos that are so subtle you probably didn't catch them the first time around. Just wait until you see which A-list star stole the show in the 2008 film Tropic Thunder. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we'll be showing you 10 hidden movie cameos you might have missed. The Man from UNCLE in 2015, Guy Ritchie released his highly anticipated film The Man from UNCLE, starring Henry Cavill and Army Hammer. The movie is based on a classic television show from the mid-60s about a CIA agent who's on a mission to dismantle a mysterious crime organization. The spy adventure brought moviegoers out to the theaters in droves, and many people didn't even realize the film had a surprise cameo from a major international star. And it was none other than David Beckham. Prior to the film's release, David and his wife Victoria teased his cameo appearance in a series of social media posts. An insider told the press that David was only on set for one day to film his part in the film. The former football player was a bit nervous for his grand debut on the big screen, but he brought along his son Brooklyn on his filming day for some moral support. In case you missed David's appearance, we'll let you know how to spot him the next time you watch the film. There's a scene where the characters are watching a series of photos and clips that are being shown on a projection screen. The camera cuts to David, who plays the man who's working the projection machine. His cameo didn't last long at all, and it didn't help that he was wearing glasses in the scene, too. The room is dark with low lighting, so we're not surprised a lot of people didn't recognize David. He was practically incognito. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 Released in May 2017, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 is an action-packed Marvel comic film that follows the character Peter Quill and his guardians who are hired to protect their batteries from the evil invaders. The movie includes some very popular actors and actresses, including Chris Pratt and Zoe Saldana. But one celebrity cameo really had the entertainment industry buzzing. Even though you don't actually see her face on the movie screen, if you're one of her adoring fans, you probably recognized her voice right away. We're talking about Miley Cyrus, of course. The singer and actress voiced one of the computer-generated characters in the film named Mainframe, a robotic alien warrior. Her fans were excited that she was included in the film, but they were also a bit disappointed. Miley didn't have very many lines at all, but there was no mistaking it was her raspy and husky voice coming through the speakers. This isn't the first time the star has lent her voice to a movie. She also voiced the character Penny in Disney's 2008 film, Bolt. Where will Miley's voice make a cameo next? I guess we'll all have to wait and find out. We are very excited to show you our new platform, The Premium. Get early access to thousands of videos from your favorite channels, including The Taco, The Things, The Trendy, and The Riches. It's all in one place with ad-free browsing. Sign up for The Premium for free and get ready to binge watch just one more video. Furious 7 in 2015, the world anxiously awaited the release of Furious 7. This film was the first in the franchise's history to be released after the untimely passing of actor Paul Walker. The previous six films included cameos from very talented performers, including singer Rita Ora in Fast and Furious 6. But for this installment, they reached out to a celebrity who is better known for her catchy rap songs. Can you guess who it was? It was Iggy Azalea. Before we tell you about Iggy's cameo, we have to give you a little bit of a background about the movie. Michelle Rodriguez's character Letty was suffering from memory loss after flipping her vehicle in a wreck. Everyone assumed she didn't survive the accident, but miraculously, she was okay. She suffered from memory loss, so Dom, played by actor Vin Diesel, took Letty to a racing competition to see if it would help her restore her memory. After Letty won the race, the crowd swarmed around her to congratulate her. And that's when Iggy popped up looking as beautiful as ever. She wore a black bikini top, a pink jacket, and a pair of red shorts. She only had a small line in the film, and it may not have been memorable to most moviegoers, but we love seeing celebrities make cameos in movies no matter how big or small their role is. Catch Me If You Can 2002's film Catch Me If You Can was based on the life of a man named Frank Abigail Jr. Before his 19th birthday, Frank had become a pro at scamming his way through life. He didn't have the right credentials, but he was able to take on jobs as an airplane pilot, a legal prosecutor, a government worker, and a physician. He also forged millions of dollars worth of checks to fund his lifestyle. He's now known as one of the greatest imposters to ever live. Although his story may seem a little far-fetched, a lot of the incidents in the film actually happened in Frank's real 
real life. When it came time to decide who should play the lead role, there was no question that Leonardo DiCaprio was the best actor to bring Frank's story to the big screen. In one scene, Leo's character is getting manhandled as he's hauled off by the police. One of the officers who was carrying him away probably looked a bit familiar because it was actually the real-life Frank Abigail. He was brought on to make the brief cameo in the movie to arrest his younger self. Pretty cool, right? Zoolander 2 in 2016, movie lovers couldn't wait for the sequel of Zoolander to be released. Part 2 of the film starred the usual suspects, including Ben Stiller as Derek Zoolander and Owen Wilson as Hansel. The film picked up years later after Derek and Hansel had been separated from each other. Each of their lives had taken a turn for the worse, and they went from being at the top of the modeling food chain to being has-beens in the industry. To make Zoolander 2 even more memorable than the first film, the movie enlisted the help of many A-list stars, including Will Ferrell and rapper Ace. Sap Rocky. There was another cameo that people were talking about for months, and that was the addition of Justin Bieber to the cast. However, there was another celebrity who made an appearance that many moviegoers probably missed. In the scene, you can see a DJ with a turntable, and he's playing the remixed version of the song Relax from the movie's soundtrack. The DJ looks a bit familiar, but his white wig, dreadlocks, and gold teeth really threw us off at first. It was later confirmed that the character was played by DJ Skrillex. It makes sense that the movie would hire a real DJ to play the part of an on-screen DJ, don't you think? Scream If you're a fan of horror films, we're pretty sure you've watched the 1996 film Scream a billion times. The film, which was directed by the late Wes Craven, is one of the best slasher films to ever hit movie theaters. While watching the movie, you can't help but jump out of your seat and shriek in terror in almost every scene. Wes is also the man behind movies such as Nightmare on Elm Street and The Hills Have Eyes. Each of these films have some pretty memorable characters, and Wes found a way to pay homage to one iconic character when it came time to film Scream. In the film, an evil man had just harmed the Woodsboro High School principal and the culprit was still on the loose. Outside in the hallways of the high school, there was a janitor named Fred who's dressed up as Freddy Krueger and mopping the floors. The janitor wears Freddy's iconic outfit, including his striped shirt and the same hat. If you thought the janitor looked familiar, you were right. The character was actually played by the director of the film, Wes. His appearance in the movie was such a treat for moviegoers who were a big fan of his movies. This is the end. The 2013 film This Is The End is a comedy directed by Seth Rogen. Seth also starred in the film as well. We're sure you instantly recognize Rihanna who made a brief cameo as the girl who got some unwanted attention from actor Michael Cera. But there was another shocking cameo that left moviegoers in stitches. Danny McBride, who played himself in the film, was ousted from his group of friends for trying to sabotage them. When they finally met up with him later in the film, he was the leader of his own crew of cannibals. Hunched down next to him on the floor was a man who was tied to a chain. When the hood of the man's face was removed, everyone was shocked to see it was hunky actor Channing Tatum. So, how did Channing go from being the lead actor in Magic Mike to being dragged around on a chain in This Is The End? Well, according to Channing, he received an email from Seth that laid out exactly how his character would be portrayed. Most actors would have probably laughed and felt a bit disrespected, but Channing was a good sport about it all. He also admitted he may have had a little too much to drink when he read the email and agreed to play the chained-up character. We're sure glad he decided to go along with it because it's definitely one of the most hilarious and memorable cameos in the film. The Hobbit – The Desolation of Smog the Hobbit was originally written by J.R.R. Tolkien and published back in 1937. The author also wrote The Lord of the Rings. These two stories took place in an era the author created called Middle-earth. The books were so popular they had a cult following and legions of fans who hung off of the author's every word. So it was only right that his books were turned into films at some point. One of Tolkien's most famous followers is comedian and television personality Stephen Colbert. When Stephen revealed how much of a fan he was of Tolkien's work, he wound up landing a gig in the two 2013 film The Hobbit The Desolation of Smog. But like most of the cameos on our list, Steven's brief moment in the film was hard to catch. If you just so happen to look down into your bag of popcorn or close your eyes while taking a sneeze, you definitely would have missed his cameo. Dressed up in tattered clothing and wearing an eye patch on his face, Steven portrayed one of the residents of Lake Town. He didn't have any lines at all, but we're sure it was a dream come true for him to appear in a film that meant so much to him. Tropic Thunder The 2008 film Tropic Thunder is one of the most hilarious comedies that we've ever seen. There's a bunch of different characters that keep us laughing our butts off, including Robert Downey Jr. and Ben Stiller. But there was one cameo that many people didn't expect. And to this day, some people still have trouble wrapping their heads around the actor who stole the show and changed the vibe of the entire film. In the movie, there's a Hollywood exec named Les Grossman. He has had a bald head, a lot of body hair, and some amazing dance moves. When it was revealed that the character 
character was played by Tom Cruise, everyone was in shock. It didn't seem like the type of role the seasoned actor would ever agree to, but it was later revealed that Tom actually played a big part in the development of the character. Tom convinced the director and producer that the character Les should wear chubby prosthetic hands and a padded suit to make him appear heftier. Tom's cameo in the movie was a home run. Moviegoers even begged the makers of the film to create a spin-off movie featuring Tom as the balding head honcho. Game of Thrones the Game of Thrones series is no stranger to inviting musical guests on the show. In the past, we've seen Gary Lightbody of Snow Patrol and Will Champion of Coldplay pop up on different episodes, but a recent cameo appearance trumped them all. Back in May 2017, viewers spotted a very familiar face on the program, British singer Ed Sheeran. According to the show's producers, they had been trying to get Ed a guest spot on the series for years, especially since actress Maisie Williams was a huge fan of his music. Ed's schedule finally allowed him to appear on the show show, and he just casually strolled into a scene while serenading the cast by singing a song. His cameo was definitely the highlight of the entire episode. While the singer's fans were so excited to see him on the small screen, others thought his cameo took away from the authenticity of the show. Ed only had a few lines to recite after he belted out his tune, but the fact that he's such a huge international superstar proved to be a distraction for many of the show's viewers. What do you think about Ed Sheeran's surprise cameo on Game of Thrones? Did you enjoy seeing him as a Lannister soldier? on the series? Don't forget to leave your answer down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out our friends at the Trendy to see more cool videos for teenagers. Thanks for watching.